Guys, I'm the Living Boris. Thank you for tuning in. Myself and pop culture in general. Uh, one of my loves, true loves right now, is Marvel Cinematic Universe. If you can probably see in my backdrop behind me, it's probably one of the greatest things that has ever been done in storytelling cinema, in my honest opinion. I mean, anything from the Guardians all the way to the Avengers and coming back to now boosting it all the way to Secret Wars. I mean, I can't wait for Wakanda Forever this fall. I mean, I honestly think that the major problem. Namor's going to have is going to go ahead and be the fact that there's a celestial head and arm coming out of the ocean. Somebody's got to have a talk with Wakanda and the people on the ground as to what is going on. Also, I'm a huge music dork. I mean, my taste for music stretches across so many genres that it's kind of crazy, really. Uh, I did grow up listening to a lot of new metal. I mean, my bands growing up were Korn, Slipknot, Limp Bizkit. Uh, and Cold Chamber, I just love those bands so much. As I got older, I got into the more, I guess, the uh, emo stage of things with the used. Uh, I mean, Taste of Ink, come on, who, who didn't listen to Taste of Ink? Uh, music has just always been huge. The older I got, I got into heavier music. Slowly, I got into Devil Wears Prada, uh, more, you know, more of these gent bands. Uh, and that changed over time to even heavier things. I eventually got into things like Mayhem and Venom and things that are considered, I guess, black metal. Uh, and at the same time, I can listen to anything that's like Spanish music. I mean, my fa one of my favorite singers still today is this guy named Camilo Sesto. This dude passed away already, but look him up. This dude is a sick Spanish singer. But with that said, something else on our channel is going to be a lot of conversations about music. And hopefully we're going to have quite a few musical guests on the show that are going to go ahead and uh, talk a little bit about their experiences and how they feel. So hey guys, if it looks that uh, I'm recording a video at a different time, it's because I am. And the truth is because when I was recording that first part of the video, uh, I choked up. And uh, at the end of this video, I'm asking my executive producer to go ahead and plug in some of those bloopers as to the reason why I couldn't get anything done. And uh, the last part of what I wanted to talk about my channel with you guys in this introduction video was just letting you guys know that, you know, the truth. My channel is something that I want to help others and bring mental awareness to others. You know, unfortunately, the world has become kind of cold, in my honest opinion. Maybe my skin is not too tough, but I assume that there's a lot of other people out there just like me that feel the same exact way. Um, and this channel's meant here, you know, through pop culture as a way to help people that are just like us, for us to create our own community. And uh, I've, had an, uh, I've had an amazing, amazing support system so far, you know, with my own disorders. I suffer from a manic depression and I'm basically anxious all the time. Uh, I take treatment uh, and I always, always, always suggest, you know, obviously I'm not a professional. And uh, if you feel like treatment is the right thing for you, you know, contact a professional. There's so many resources nowadays. I mean, BetterHelp.com we know is one of those resources that everyone uses. So I always would suggest you go ahead and look into that. But with that said, guys, that's what my channel is more or less going to be about. We're going to go ahead and interview a bunch of people. We're going to go ahead and have some fun. We're going to go ahead and talk about some adventures. We're going to talk about pop culture. We're going to talk about music. And most importantly, we're going to talk about mental health. Thank you so much for joining me, and a special thanks to my wife, Cindy, my executive producer, David, my brother, uh, my best friends, Honey and Alfie over at Dade Cresties. Shout out to Dade Cresties, and a very special thank you to Dineside, Eddie, and E-Man, one of the greatest, most underrated bands in Miami-Dade right now. If you haven't heard of Dineside, take a second to check the link down below that says Dineside, and listen to some Dineside. Always look up, everyone.